What's up, SwagTube? How are you guys doing? I know you guys are probably loving my voice right now. You can probably hear me sharp and clear, and that's because I figured out that I've been using my webcam microphone instead of my blue snowball. Yeah, this whole time I've been making videos and thinking that my snowball is messed up, but no, I'm just an idiot and I've been using my webcam microphone, which is obviously doo-doo. Um, anyways, I'm here with another how-to series video for you guys. I am going to show you guys how to slay on good side CTF bootleg. And um, if you guys are using an assault rifle, what you want to do is, as you can see right here, I'm just setting up the momentum of the map. Um, usually when I push out as a slayer first, my team will get three-pieced and it'll be, you know, me against four people. It's just how it is. So, you know, the first minute I just try to stay back, play a little campy, set up the momentum and most of all just get the other team frustrated you know when you're camping and the other team realizes you're camping it gets them frustrated gets in their head and makes them play a little bit differently than they you know usually would anyway so in this video you can see I'm pushing middle and street a lot with my AR which I should be pushing plat but since my teammates are pretty much doing that I'm just gonna go for spawn traps and hold off middle map so right here they pull the flag and I'm going behind him I'm playing this extremely you know smart because I'm not doing I'm not pushing really fast I'm pushing really slow right here I just lay down behind car get this kill instead of going straight for the flag and then I have to get the three piece and take out the flag and get the flag return uh, that play was amazing and um, you just gotta be patient and, and make sure you're thinking clearly before you do anything drastic and you don't want to be playing based off instinct that's already a no-no and -no capture the flag you want to be playing patient content and overall just making great decisions and that's the way to do it you just gotta play slow and you know keep your head in the game so as I can tell my teammates are pushing middle and plat so I'm gonna be spawn trapping street as best I can which I do here you know I set up I set up at the pillar and as long as my teammates are set up concrete and green they're gonna be spawning street and I'm gonna have to get these cutoffs for my flag puller because if they get through street flank to our base it's gonna be hard for them to put that flag in securely so I just jump back and forth, middle and street, and I'm doing, I have my cutoffs are great. Um, as of right now, I can tell no one was plat, so, and plat is this war zone. You know, you got to be there for map control. So, you know, I immediately rotate over and try to help my teammates set up plat again so I can go back to spawn trap street. So I see two people at plat, so I'm going to go rotate over to middle, take out the guy middle mirror, come back to plat because there's one over here at concretes, and I'm going to try to help my teammate best I can. Even though I die, it was a perfect death because study killed him right after and now we have plaque control again and like I said in my other previous videos plaque control is the most important part of the map you if you have plaque control you basically have the other team in a neck hold and they are sh you know struggling to get out they are suffocating in their base so that's what you want to do is go plat all the time and since we're up two flags on good side I'm gonna camp since I know the other team is getting impatient and they want to get a flag cap I'm just going to play slower and more content because it just gets them frustrated and I'm pretty much defending the flag where they can't even pull it. So right here, my teammate sets up plat and I'm just going to watch his back, take out uh, space lead and come up and push plat. Now we have four down and I'm going straight for the uh, street cutoff for my teammate who pulled the flag because like I said, if you don't have anyone watching street, they can go full flank down middle or to your base and that's gonna be a problem for your fly guy so I saw that guy right there but uh, you know, I try to play smart act like I didn't see him I tried to come back to kill him but he went back and this guy shooting me in the back almost got turned on uh, study came in and had a great help you know I probably would have died to be honest if he didn't help me so that was great teamwork right there he also the most important thing in CTF in my opinion is looking at your HUD and that's why, as you can tell, my HUD is more in the middle of my screen. That's because I play on the vertical and horizontal margins all the way down. And that's because it's just easier for me to look at the HUD. And uh, in my opinion, it's just better. You know, I don't have to look always at the top left corner of my screen. I can almost use my peripherals, my peripheral vision and just look at it instead of just completely uh, not focusing on my gun and looking straight at the HUD. Um, but that's about it guys so plot control if your teammates are at plot control you go street and get caught off street always look at your HUD 
and determine what you should be watching um, if your teammates aren't there. Um, this is just another breakdown video for you guys, how to series on how to slay. I dropped 20 kills in just 5 minutes. That is uh, a lot of kills, guys. And so I was doing something right, and I wanted to help you guys get better at CTF bootleg on the good side. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed.